Hello my fellow eggheads. Let's discuss LED code 23 on Adele. So in my shop I have this computer come in. Uh, you hit power and then if you look at the lights down below it's giving me an error code. Uh, this one doesn't have a black screen uh, but this fix works for if you have a black screen or if you just have the LED code. Uh, as we can see here it's blinking. It's giving me a 2-4 LED code uh, in this case. Um, this would also solution would work for a 2-3 LED code or a 2-5 LED code. So it's giving me this LED code right here. So I'm going to show you how to go about troubleshooting this issue. So the first thing I did is I turned the computer off and then I uh, went ahead and I opened it up. And you can look up a disassembly video um, for how to do this with your make and model of computer. Uh, but anyway, I got it all open, it went inside, and I'm going to do what's called releasing the fleet power in the computer. So after I get inside, then I went ahead and I located the battery. Because what can happen is you can have a buildup of residual power in some of the components in your computer. Uh, say the motherboard, the RAM, things like that. And then it can cause issues like a black screen issue. It can actually cause a lot of issues. So if you ever have a hardware problem, this is the first step to try. Unplug or take out your battery, like so. And then what I'm going to do with the battery unplugged and the computer unplugged uh, from the power cord. Then I went ahead and held down the power button for a whole minute to release all that residual power buildup. A lot of shops will actually charge you money for this. They call it a hard reset. Uh, so you might have paid good money for simply doing this really easy procedure to fix your computer if you've ever bought it to a repair shop for, for some an issue with hardware issue like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug the battery back in. So this was my first step in the troubleshooting process and go ahead try the power button again. Unfortunately this simple fix that actually works many times in this particular case was not the issue with the laptop. So moving on to troubleshooting step number two. And for this next step my battery and power cord are unplugged. The RAM. RAM is a big leading cause for a black screen issue. So as you can see we have two RAM sticks. So I'm going to test both the ports and the sticks because RAM is like headlight on a car. They tend to go one at a time. So I'm going to take one stick out and leave the other one in. And then I'm going to try starting my computer. If my computer starts and the screen turns on no problem, then I know there is an issue with that RAM stick. It needs to be replaced. I'll show you at the end of the video how to buy a replacement one. But if it still has a black screen, then the next step I would do is I would try swapping out the RAM stick for the other one because it could be that just one of the sticks has failed. So I take out one RAM stick and then by the process of elimination, I test the other one too to see if there's one working RAM stick. Because like I said, they tend to fail one at a time. So if I turn the computer on, with one RAM stick uninstalled and it works, then I know I, the uninstalled RAM stick is bad. So I'm testing my second stick of RAM right now. Um, if the computer still doesn't turn on, then the next step would be to try it in the other port to see if it's actually an issue with one of the ports being bad. So I would try one stick in the other port and then I would once again turn on the computer to see if it works. If you only have one stick of RAM though, then you would try it in both ports um, and then the next step would be to buy a different stick of RAM and try a brand new one, same brand, uh, same part number, and try it in both ports. But in this case, I'm going to try both sticks of RAM in this extra port because in rare cases you can have a, a stick of RAM and a port go bad, so it's really worth trying both sticks in each port. Uh, and if it works, uh, say, in with one uninstalled, then you know that's a bad stick, the uninstalled one. Now in this case, uh, I had these two sticks in this one port, they work, and the two sticks in the other port do not work. This tells me that I have two good sticks of RAM and I have one bad port. So now I try turning it on. So I know that both my sticks are good, so I installed one in my one good port, I hit the power button, and 
it takes a minute, but my computer comes to life. The logo comes on, it works great. So a couple of quick shout outs though, if this is what happens with your computer, um, sometimes with RAM issues, it can cause operating system corruption. So you may have to reset or reinstall Windows or it can reset your clock and BIOS. So in that case, it would give you a warning and you would go into BIOS and have to manually set your date and time. Uh, next thing, okay, so looking at your RAM stick, uh, what we're going to look for is the part number or, and you can, the easiest solution I would suggest is going on say Amazon or eBay and buying a brand new stick um, and buying the same model, sorry, buying the same brand and the same part number. It's just the easiest way to do it. If you have any questions about how to do it, please feel free to leave them down below. If you found this video in any way helpful, please like and share. And from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.